Franklin had to use sparks to determine what was going on in his electrical experiments. We can use a subtler tool, a neon bulb, to detect smaller uh, transfers of electricity than he could. We have here <coughs> a small neon bulb. This is simply two electrodes side by side in a glass envelope, one connected to each wire that comes from the bulb and surrounded by neon gas. I'm going to connect this to a 10 kilo ohm resistor and then we'll connect this to a large battery made of eight 9 volt batteries snapped together. I've labeled the terminals of the battery negative, positive. I connect a yellow lead to the positive terminal and connect that to one terminal of the neon bulb. I connect the green lead to the negative terminal and I'll connect that to the other lead of the neon bulb. If you look at the bulb, you can see that one electrode is glowing. That's the electrode on the side which is connected through the resistor to the negative terminal. We can check for that. I'm going to disconnect the green and yellow leads and switch them so that the green lead now will go to the positive and the yellow lead now will go to the negative. You should see the neon bulb light up again and this time it is the electrode connected to the yellow wire which is now connected to the negative. If I switch them back so that the green is now connected to negative, then we see the electrode by the green wire light up. This shows us that the, bulb, the electrode that glows in the neon bulb is the negative electrode. What I'm going to do now is use the neon bulb to determine the sign of the charge on this charged film can Leyden jar. I charged it with the tube, charging it by the hook. So now I'll bring the neon bulb close to it and see which electrode flashes, the one by the hook or the one by my finger. If I bring it in and I notice that it was the one by the hook that flashed. Since that we determined was the negative electrode, then we know that the hook must have been negatively charged. 